Unit 6, learning target number 11. Read and create a frequency table using a tally chart. Tally charts and frequency tables are two pieces of a chart that can work together to give us a picture of our data. The tally chart, as you might guess from the word, a tally chart is just a way to count the number of values for a particular variable in a data set. So in our tally here, we have our tally chart, we are counting the number of people who had between zero and three cups of coffee. And so we look at our data and we find there are two of them. So we put a, a slash mark for each one. For people who had between four and seven cups of coffee, again, we put another slash there for each one. And we continue on doing that to uh, record the, the values for our variable, just like it says under tally chart. Then, once we've recorded all these by hand, then what we can do is we can create a frequency table. And a frequency table is the number of occurrences of a data item. So frequency, and not frequency as in a radio frequency, but frequency as in the number of occurrences of a data item. So in this case, we have two. We counted one, two, so we have a frequency of two for people who had zero to three cups of coffee. In this one, we have a frequency of three because there were three people who had between four and seven cups of coffee. Here we have a frequency of eight because there were between eight and eleven because there were eight people who had between eight and eleven cups of coffee and so on. And that's all we're doing when it comes to tally charts and frequency tables. So let's try to create one. Now let's take our time to create. We're going to create a tally chart and a frequency table. So here's our data. We have our data right here, the number of chocolate candies in a bag of trail mix. Have you ever been eating a, a bag of trail mix and you wondered, man, why didn't they put more M&Ms in here? Because that would make it taste better. And you wondered how many M&Ms there were in the bag. These people have made your lives a little bit easier by calculating that. So over here we have our frequency table. Here are our intervals. We have between 21 and 40, between 41 and 60, 61 and 80, and so on. So let's see what we've got. 50 means that we're going to put a tally mark here between 41 and 60 because that's where it will be. 42 is above 40, so we'll put one there. 119, that goes all the way down here in the bottom, 119. 45, that's going to go right here. 68, maybe you can find that down here before I do. 68 goes right there. 32 is going to go right here, so that's that. 67, put right here. 111 goes all the way down here. 61 right there 31 up here 75 right here all right almost done here 39 right there 62 that right there 64 one more here 49 55 hey that's two of them in a row right there 51 and another one 33 that's going to go right down here with these guys 117 all the way down at the bottom again 96 right there 64 one last one right there and then 82 is going to go right here so now we have our tallies we've counted all those data items up and we'll do our frequency table right here so there are four hash marks here so there are four um, candies um, bags of trail mix that had between 21 and 40 candies there was a frequency of four for those um, bags of candy that had between 41 and 60, there was a frequency of 6 for those. Between 61 and 80, there was a frequency of 7. Then 2 for 81 to 100, and 3 for 101 to 120. And this quickly gives us our frequency table. And now, we could also look here. Again, we're looking maybe for our mode. Which one of these would be our mode? Which one has the most data items? Right here, this would be our mode right there, 61 through 80.